Co tam dzisiaj? Co tam dzisiaj był widziałem pana, ale co tam załatwiał? No, co to by chciał dać? To, 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 no dobrze, to, komu chce pan to dać? Na pewno nie mi, bo nie jest pan moim klientem. Nie, nie, nie Kto nie pana przyjmował? Tutaj? No tak. No to pan chodzi. Ale nie ma tej
Hello, my friends. Uh, in this video, I hope I will present authorities, law enforcement authorities, Polish law enforcement authorities with enough proofs to actually get rid of Mr. Kaczynski, Mr. Duda, and Mr. Morawiecki. That's, those are members, the prominent members, the, the big people of so-called uh, Law and Justice Party. I hope I this time put them behind the bars. I hope I get them out of the stage this time. Uh, they did go and they crossed the red line too far for uh, law enforcement not to get involved in this one uh, Because it's not because of me only it's because it involves well, I'm gonna say a top immigration officer from the Luch It's the immigration officer from Luch whom I already remember since year 2004 2005 2006 This is one of the most senior immigration officers uh, in, in Luch um, the most experienced uh, immigration officer for sure the most experienced for sure this is the lady that is I think it was in what it was in 2015 maybe even in 2013 that she told me that there may be only two three other um, officials uh, immigration officials that have the same stash as she has uh, seniority I should say she spent her life in Polish immigration services and it's why they also have touched her, Borut Pahar, Slovenian president now, was involved in this stuff. And they frankly believe they're gonna set me up, they're gonna get me in trouble through her. It's got nothing to do with her. Um, she is just like everybody else, was just a tool used by these politicians to do dirty stuff. It would be something supposed to be used to basically seal my fate here in Poland. It would, suppose it would get me. Okay? This would be like dot on Sebastian, on the fate of the Sebastian uh, in, in Poland. Maybe this is what Mr. Kaczynski thought when he said the other day that he's going to resolve some kind of issues. They usually don't directly, you know, they usually don't directly. You can see in Israel, let's say, they are talking about some kind of a cases, and some cases they're not even public, and so on and so forth. It's like Orwellian governments they're communicating uh, through media and so on and with people the confidence they know about and then all this stuff is then translated whichever way and so on to the public and you know it breaks down to the public and so on it's kind of funny Orwellian societies we live in okay they believe they're gonna get rid of me set me up uh, and it was a really really a great 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 setup I will explain if I just say is that the audio recording that you're gonna get 
you're gonna save one separately somewhere on something of course not on the computer uh, that is not gonna get to somebody in hands with the brainwash it's just between you and her and this is how, it, how it's gonna be the support expressed to you the people in Poland are not gonna come out publicly and express support like this but it will be like this you know it will be we'll be communicating we'll be communicating like this there are instructions from Kaczynski from Duda all these people this is how they translated to me how this is gonna be Slovenian Slovenian my friend translated to me this news I believe unless it was he's an imitator who knows what the, whom the hell they have used Bored Pahor and all was I gotta yet post the videos actually this is beautiful because it does so many things for me this video right here this video is gonna come probably in three parts what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get excerpts that are important in part one part two in part three probably I'm just gonna go and burn you the whole five hour six hour long audio so you can hear that I did not imitate lie do anything anything alter anything about stuff it was a whole lot that went that day and I'm talking of course about the Friday the 29 November of the 29 of 2019 November 29 of 2019 is what I'm talking about a really 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 impressive day but the day did not start on Friday the 29 of 2019 when I was summoned to appear in Lodz his immigration's office Per miss, I think her name is Sandowska. You're gonna hear an audio recording everything. If you speak Polish, for the Polish authorities, for the international authorities that understand Polish language, stuff like this that you cannot afford yourself to miss, this is gonna be in Polish language. Obviously, this is too long and it's too much work. I have too many audios I have to post online. Too many videos I have to, too many proofs. You're gonna have to get yourself that translator. For English speakers, you will just have to settle for my word because this is what it is. Did not start on Friday the 29th of 2019. The day started about two weeks earlier, maybe even more. That was when the play started on November the 13th, on Tuesday, between me, between a doctor here in Zgirsch, between me and Zeus, and when I say doctor and Zeus workers, just like this immigration officer, they had nothing to do. They have no vendetta against me, nothing personal against me. These are actually the people that... Mm, the way I see it, I received more help through them than anything else. These are the people that did not have any choice other than to comply. I'm not gonna forget Mrs. Sandowska and Remke Ultra. She was like... Mm, fuck them, excuse me on this. Like this. Because... This is how she's supposed to do it. But thanks to her, I, under I understood that the day, the Friday, the 29th of 2019, did not end inside of the immigration office. There's going to be a whole lot more that's waiting for me to get by that Friday. Because this was the Friday that was used that, boy, they would do anything possible to get me out of the Poland. It started three weeks ago, and it's actually audio recording that I'm going to play you, that is just really, really similar to the audio recording which I received that day um, from immigration authorities, uh, Polish immigration authorities. It was like, like a barking, literally. Under MK Ultra, when subject to MK Ultra, when I when I called Zeus, when that game went between this Zeus, this Polish social services health insurance, they would have impersonators of my future trouble, crying that. It's better to let go. It's better to let go. That kind of call. They anticipated Warsaw, Zeus, anticipated my call here from Lodz, from Zgirsch, to Warsaw, because I wouldn't get assistance here at the doctor's office, because I wouldn't get assistance over there at Zeus and so on. They would just not allow me to complete examination. They, they, they anticipated. It's all the stuff yet I have to put online. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I got to put on online. They anticipated this stuff. And it was a barking on me. It was like, you would have like, okay, like a small dog, you know, and he just go, whoa, 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 let's say that you are a defense, and we just go relentlessly, whoa, 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 at you. And they suggested to me, Andre and Ultra, oh, when you have a phone call like that, just, I just let go of that stuff. Yeah, sometimes it's better to let go of the stuff like that. 
I couldn't win. I couldn't win her. But to her, I couldn't win. I remember the impersonators. I couldn't win her. I couldn't win her, yeah. I felt, I feel this is just better that I would let go. Yeah, some calls you can just not make. But the thing about me is I don't let go. I grab and I don't let go. Because I'm the kind of guy that I want to know. I want to know what is behind the corner of abuse, especially related to MK Ultra. What I want to know is what exactly they have in, what is in it for me. I want to understand what did the abuser, the brainwasher, felt when he communicated to that operator. I don't, you see, I don't even see myself when doing this stuff. I see the impersonator and I want to understand how he felt about that stuff. Then what I do is I compare this to my situation. You see, I do it from a completely different corner. For the job that I knew I'm going to get crippled, I would have done it again, I tell you. Without the slightest thought, I would have gone through the whole thing again. And again and again and again. Just to see it, the stuff they did to me on the MK Ultra, the gesture that's going to happen to me. Just to meet the people. And basically return them that trust in humanity. Disperse those ugly lies. They pushed into this Ukrainian people, especially here. They brainwashed Ukrainian people like you would not believe. Just for that matter, I would go again. And again and again and again. I would have done it whatever it takes to go again. It doesn't matter how, what, this. I am the person that feels that when they had me inside of the mental asylum in Ljubljana, in Slovenia, when they tortured me, and it was all the time was the attitude encouraged. Um, you know, just let go. 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 I'd rather not. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. You don't want. You don't want. You don't want. Well, I want to know everything. I want. I want to see it. I want to feel it. I want to know what it feels like. I want to know everything. That's the kind of person I am. Now, I think if this is how I would not be, I would not be here today. It's all a matter of perception how you do it. That barking between uh, the lady from Zeus, from Warsaw, did whoa, 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 whoa with me. I repeat it again on this Friday. Friday the 29th, November 2019. Just this time it was from immigration officer. You know, I would something I would expect this kind of barking like from like, let's say, German immigration authorities. Uh, definitely not from Polish. And for that matter, I gave, I returned him the same way. And the lady that tried to exhaust me from Zeus from Warsaw, I tried to exhaust her too. I tried to corner her and we sparred for quite some time and back and forth and I pretended like this and I gave her a chance to bark even more. And this is what I do. Not very happy, but fine, because Mrs. Sandowska was the next one the telephone was handed to. Uh, and she is a very, very reasonable lady, very reasonable lady. I did the party on a Friday to lodge. Before I get to the lodge, I also have to remind you of what went on, not only at zoos, but also at immigration services for entire week. And not, entire week, okay, not, but okay, no less than four days. I was about four times in lodge for this matter. Um, on Thursday... They closed the window in front of me, went on a break, Polish authorities lied on how um, this is exactly the window where I should stand. They took, they legitimated people that were involved in MK Ultra. Um, I don't know, to, to fear monger me or something like this, which actually put the temperature up to me, when you do the stuff like this to me, I don't like that. Uh, I know the law, uh, and I'm not doing nothing against the law. I'm not a thief, I'm not a thug. Every police officer, every law enforcement officer, please, without any kind of resentments here, I alone wanted to be law enforcement officer all my life. I wanted to work for law enforcement, FBI, corrections, Central Intelligence Agency, what a patrol tool in the US. They went from like this, when they would, came out, and actually display some kind of a schizophrenic behavior too. The officer did. It was like, not really, you know, that you would see like a, 
immigration officer, he was saying, he's like, at the right sign, sound of mind. I saw actually a schizophrenia in this guy. You know, he would, he would just like, like deliberately display like, like, you know, some kind of strange, you know, reactions here and there, you know, like something would be wrong with him. But dude, this was not because he would be sick or anything like this. It's exactly the opposite. The guy very intelligent. The guy, guy was extremely, extremely intelligent because of the stuff I'm about to talk to you. This is all the stuff that's used like this to create certain perception in an individual. It's a psychology and it's damn well designed. This really was done by professionals. All those little dots, basically, they add up to quite a lot of issues. Just like a phone call from Zeus added to the phone call on Friday and so on. And so this was basically on Thursday. Um, actually, I'm sorry, on Friday. On Friday, they would close the window in front of me and go on lunch and this and that. Uh, and then on Monday when I would come, one hour prior to opening of this immigration offices, you know, I was there at 7.30, they opened at 8 o'clock, they let us in, and they started the service at 8.30, that's about one hour prior. I can tell you that one hour prior, when I was there, there was not even 20 people that would stand outside. But I was definitely one of them. When we got in, they had some kind of a listing in their hands where it was like 60 names on it. If I want to put my name on it, I was like, no. Why? Why is it that I want to go and put my name on it? On some kind of a listing like this, that, that they, one guy lied that he is from Lodge, and he's waiting already in line already since one o'clock in the morning. You know, this kind of a lunacy, you know, crazy stories like this, you know. There was no line, there was no ticket you could take, uh, you would be served at the counter properly. We did not even know what counter to go to. For the things to get worse, the immigration officers on at least two occasions, at least two occasions, I'm going to put the audio for you to listen, lied to me. No, it must have been at least three occasions where to wait, in which line to wait, to submit this application um, for registration of European Union citizen uh, in Poland, who is staying here for longer than six months. It was supposedly, according to them, on several occasions, window number one, when then later on I was told by had over there, there was some other window and back and forth. It was nothing else than life. For things to get even worse, they have declined to assist me twice all this, I'm gonna just play your audio recording. That's what I'm saying in this video, I just get rid of a few issues rather than one. They were not even sure that some kind of a private listing for which they alone have claimed is uh, they do not recognize one as legitimate, they would have that cleared out for me, uh, you know, probably also for other people, so that we could be served like a human beings. You know, just creating a listing and standing in front of you and allowing some other people from somewhere else to go in in front of them and stuff like this, 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 this. we can wait one month, two months, three months, we're not going to be served at the window. Something like this not. They claim that this is not legal, they don't recognize that. I'm talking about immigration officers, immigration authorities inside of the area where they actually ask for IDs, people, to identify them. So they would not be violating Polish immigration laws per overstay and so on, but they would not go and make the law and order inside. So the stuff like this would not happen. So the immigrant could actually come to the window and submit his application. And so for them, nothing unusual that I'm a journalist, that, that I'm a political activist, that, that uh, all this stuff to them, when I mentioned them stuff like this, it was just nothing unusual to them. Everything was normal. But this is a crime. Mr. Kaczynski, this is a crime. You cannot do that. It's against the law. That's anti-constitutional. It is criminal according to domestic and international laws, treaties. At a police station, I was actually asked, why don't, why don't you just go and, and do your order? Huh? Why don't you go and just, you know, encourage. Well, I am here and this and that. And that's how a police officer asked me, why don't you do that? This is not uh, okay, this kind of stuff, but it is okay for me. And I really want to thank Mrs. Sandowska for this. Um, it was just a... A desperate attempt done in such a beautiful way really um, first I was taught she told me well you don't have a health satisfactory health insurance so I cannot admit your case absolutely whatever she said is just the way it is I don't think I had one I was I have one right here through um, employment office 
uh, register for work search and probably that did not satisfy the criteria I, whatever she said I, I, I believe her I don't doubt about it so then what I did was actually I ran um, to the library actually I walked to the library actually before I even walked to the library I identified one building um, people over there and so on and so forth because I know the whole lodge I don't know what sense this make to somebody dragging about that this there was no MK Ultra case or something like this when I have like a million and one proofs and then what I did was because I already knew the building that by the way it's got like I don't know how many names of insurance companies and definitely would look like a building where you would get definitely at least a copy printing printout services knew already ahead just like I knew for prices of copies printouts in some other part of the town and so on no all these things no already remember all this from mk ultra what the prices are going to be cost where what services and what building and so on and so what we did was i walked to the next place which is a library but this was done like hmm, i think about two hours before the closure of the immigration office probably about 12 30 something like this so it was left about with two hours maybe an hour and a half maybe something like this and on that place when I came in this library in Lodge, of course I identified the ladies again. Both ladies I identified. And you know, all this stuff I have proofs, yes. I got myself a private insurance, just as my duplicators, if you want, my predecessors of my case have done it. Uh, I printed it myself, just like she said, health insurance, uh, what I believe was a policy, was not. According to her, later on when I uh, arrived, it was just a submission for... Uh, a payment was another thing that she required uh, and unfortunately what I believe was already a policy it was not a policy it was just application for uh, insurance uh, policy okay and what I did was because this was to the last minute I didn't have a choice it doesn't matter with the pain in my back I ran the streets of Lodge all the way back to the immigration office imagine crippled and running to the immigration office to the ladies appointment believe me as much as disrespect i gave to the immigration officer earlier in the morning when he called me because this is not what i would expect from the polish police officer to act like some kind of german immigration officer you know in germany i would take it whatever uh but in poland this is not how things are supposed to be poland is a country where immigration officers know better than this this is a humane country if something weird goes on it goes on already for some other reasons it can be like this here and that's why I got it so upset uh, but anyhow um, as much as this disrespect I gave him I absolutely wanted to ensure that I gave her ultimate respect because she's a really nice lady I know her I was inside of her apartment I know her since 2004 2005 2006 I ran quickly, quickly, quickly to her office and have submitted her that immigration application. Um, resubmitted the whole thing. Now, before that I did the application. If you're going to follow uh, the audio recording, she asked me to resubmit the whole application that I supposed to submit two, two versions, two copies of that. And the next thing what I did was, for which I did not know, I apologize. I did exactly what she said. I went ahead and I purchased uh, immediately this Polish immigration policy and I ran 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 i can tell you that pain was excruciating i could feel all the way down to uh where we humans before we were humans had tails it was such a thing actually if you didn't know um it's called 30th in slovenian language all the way in the spine all the way down i would run 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 oh yeah for the white supremacist there is actually a part in our body that suggests that we did have tails that we did evolve from something else after all we did not landed here with a spaceship okay uh, on a planet earth i mean um for the neo-nazis there's no such a thing supremacist uh, um i did submit it her the proven insurance everything what i thought it was a proven insurance and what she asked me how long am i also that i supposed to also stay how long am i staying here and just as i was gonna tell her since already uh 2018 she cut me just as she told me brainwash me under mk ultra that this is what i will tell you october fest germany october fest germany and you're gonna write it down you're gonna be quiet october fest germany this is exactly the way it was that's exactly what you did this is exactly what you're going to hear actually an audio recording is gonna happen 
And she did this for Mr. Kaczynski. She did this for Mr. Duda. She did this for Mr. Morawiecki, for Mr. Trump, for Mr. Donald Trump. You see, it was not about as, uh, I'm going to say only for police that this stuff went on. It was for all the immigration authorities, federal authorities, such as immigration, especially. If you remember what I have gone through in Grotniki and so on, if you remember that, those people were closely affiliated with Mr. Donald Trump. I know the bosses from Lodge Immigration from the airport. Personally, one guy who was identifying me over there, I know his sister. I know their friends. I know a lot of details that I would otherwise not know. And so this thing was done in a such a beautiful way, especially because, according to MK Ultra, the way I was taught, the only thing you will do is you will make sure that you don't play that part, that in fact that you hide that portion of the audio uh, so that nobody will get that. You don't even put that on the computer, you understand? If you put that stuff on the computer and you leave that inside of the car when you go inside of the store, it will be too late for her. And so on and so forth and so on and so forth. Yeah, that's the way it was. But the stuff did not even end if this is not bad enough. The stuff did not even end if this is not bad enough. This is Sandoz informed me that, in fact, this is not insurance policy, that she will need, actually, that she will need a real insurance policy. I had a real insurance policy, and since I have insisted her that I will open my own company and pay $320,350, and I will do this just early as tomorrow per month for that company just to have a, a health insurance. That's what you are required. You're quite required to pay some money. But Polish state, thanks God they help you get going. That's what I love about this country here, Poland. In Slovenia, it's just completely brutal, stupid, it's just created in such a way that it, you can do nothing. It's a dead end. In Poland, they actually ensure that they help you get going. If you're an entrepreneur, or if you're interested, you want to try yourself uh, in, in a private field, they give you a chance, and I really salute that. They give you ability, they give you uh, confidence to try yourself out, see if there's something, if your ideas are worth something. Uh, later on, of course, with that time, like I said, it increases to even more. Three times more, I think, that you have to pay. But for the beginning, this is a beautiful start. And thanks God I can afford myself. This is why I freezed here, you know. This is why I didn't want to waste my electricity and stuff. So I can go about this kind of stuff now. I saved myself a lot of money here. Probably mm, a lot of money. Maybe even for two months of insurance over there. Uh, that I can pay myself. Well, that's really, really worth it. Um, you know, the new beginnings. Like somebody said, a new life. Chapter number two. And since this was not the real policy, I had to cancel that. I had to make the cancellation of this policy, for God's sakes. What am I going to do? But according to MK Ultra, to cancel this policy, people had a tremendous, my impression is a tremendous, tremendous problem canceling this policy. You know, it was all kinds of stuff that was related to this stuff that was all kinds of things that went on. Um, for one thing, they would not hear, understand, uh, the email given to them, the cancellation with insurance company could not be done through, um, through, um, through operator whom I have contacted, because that's what I did the first, I did the phone, took the phone in my hands and I said, please, excuse me, you know, of course, since I'm going to take my own business insurance, and this is what Mrs. Sandoska was really, really pleased with. She would want nothing more than see people in private field, paying taxes to the country, and this is exactly what I love about the whole thing, too. I like her a lot because her views are very much in line with my views. This is the way it's supposed to be. The money is really what counts, what moves the whole thing forward. She said, bring me this, Annie, that's it. If you're going to do this tomorrow, and that's all I need, that's all I want to hear, you're good. And that's all I want to do anyways. And so it didn't make any sense really to pay for two insurance companies. It doesn't make sense for private and for the one that you have to pay to the state and so on. Yeah, you're going to have to, the lady tells me on the telephone, submit us an email and this and that, and it's got to be done today. Okay, this was, the reservation was made, was about 2, 14, 20 hours. In a police clock, it would be 14, 20. Um, 
hull cancellation I have probably required about sometime I probably even sometimes at sixteen hundred dollars something like this and it was not even sixteen hundred dollars I remember now it was probably about fifteen thirty hours something like this maybe even one hour later or something like this but it was already problem you have to send us an email and it's got to be today and da -da 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 -da. and then what she does she tells in Polish for those of you that are fluent in Polish the, the email and is using I don't know what is she using she's using like she's saying either she's saying firma or fila okay she says uh, um, I don't know twoje kropka zdrowie um, malpa and then I'm not sure firma fila and you know slash whatever and the name of the company whatever and uh, and so on and so forth pl uh, kropka pl whatever but the thing about it is that i did not understood her but the thing about me is if you remember when i told you that i studied people um i exactly also know why i did not understood okay no well, it wasn't the first time this time yeah for the last Three weeks now, I saw Chris many times, just recording the MK Ultra, and it was not too damn optimistic from that point of view. It was not too damn optimistic because I can understand that they would tell him, they would use him, basically, they used others too. Um, let's say he would buy something from the internet and it would be he would show me like this it was messed up he would complain it was messed up it, it's messed up okay this item in real time you would have you would be compelled to buy from the internet and that's exactly what the kind of item you would get uh let's say the clothing here outside of the landlord he would go and he'd grease me um it was just one time i posted next to the lady here mom of the landlord uh my clothing to dry on a wire and never again because my clothing was greased. There was a grease left all over the clothing. He would go and he would take whatever um, oil from the car or something, grease that thing, you know, put the clothing on, and the next thing you have a filthy clothing when you come to pick one up rather than dry. Shit like this happened. A lot of shit that I did not talk about happened. Too much stuff happened. Remember, Chris, it's not happening to you. It was one time, if I recall again. When his clothing, everything that he had, he was working at the company, he would come home, he would run because it was raining to get his clothing. And it was a bad rain. And just as he would go there to get his clothing, he found in the mud everything, uh, his clothing. And you know, the problem is that even if you wash one, you have no place to dry one. He too was trying to save the money for electricity. Everybody was encouraged to save the money for electricity because they were rating them, how they prosper according to whatever and so on. And he went ballistic the first time. And they come down, Chris, slow down, Chris. Remember, man, it's happening to him. It's not happening to you. Make, 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 make sure, make, 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 make sure that, that, that you write this down, that it's happening to you. Be quiet. He heard you. Okay, my clothing is over there. Nobody cut that wire. It's still there. It never did. I was told, however, if I will post the clothing over there on that wire, it will be cut. And the place where I was, at the Logica 58, they cut me the wires. They did all kinds of stupid stuff. Okay, I can understand that stuff that he suffered a lot. At one point in time, he told me, man, if you don't come here to Poland, we're going to come to Slovenia to get you, but you know something... We will get it to Poland. If we don't get it to Poland, we're going to cripple you over there in Slovenia. You understand this? You're mine. I own you and so on. Okay, Chrissy, I get. I get all that stuff. Doesn't it, it, It's not touchy to me. All right. Chrissy uh, treated me really well. I really was like my brother. I don't know if anybody really treated me so well. And I admit, I caused him a share of trouble. I got American ambassador to Russia too. I got him too. I brainwashed him too. I caused him a trouble too. It wasn't a difficult thing to do. Watching me, poor bastards, mistreated by Donald Trump's team. It wasn't a difficult thing to do to brainwash the people inside of the Donald Trump's team to have German views. Just imagine yourself 
mistreating, torturing another American citizen like this, you can't even believe what, excuse me, I don't want to say again that F word is going on. And you yourself, not only you don't know if something like this cannot happen to you, you're having a second thoughts, you don't know what's going on, you're doing this shit. When they tell you, like they told to the Chris, we're not gonna allow something like this, you see, the way, the way he's treated, if something like this ever happens, you come to us to Germany and we will take care of you. We're not gonna allow something like this to happen to you. My own stuff that I did, a total stupidity is under MKUltra. It was a total mess I did. It was a stupidity. God knows where I got those stupidities from. Contributed to his own mentality that he started to see the world differently. And by being in this kind of situation, he started to see through me, himself more and more German, to the point that when he was just like others, started to picture himself in completely, not even in, in, in American view anymore, because if anybody was really nice, the Chris was really, really nice. Chris would not even tolerate any kind of discrimination, not even against the black people, against Hispanic people, against Chinese, against absolutely anybody. He was like this, Chris. He stood up like this. But with the time, with the shit he saw it, God knows what went on in his idea. The point here is that It no longer was required from him to see himself in a view. Don't worry, Chris. It's not you we're doing this shit to. We're, we're doing to him. Remember, we're doing to him. And it was the same with other people. This is how they calmed them down. When the, every time they have them, it was like, meow, mommy. Uh, it was, C -c calm down, man. We're not doing this to you. Remember, just remember, we're doing to him. And it was like, okay, okay. He figured out along, because of the stuff I have explained right now, that if I would get to this stage, it would get really, really dangerous Donald Trump. I'm talking about, supposedly about the son out of Whitlock from Donald Trump, Chris from Colorado, that you were able to hear the audio, who participated in this MK Ultra. He was the staff member that was most frequently uh, like a teacher here in Poland of English language that would be most frequently with me, all the time he would be with me. Um, It became panicking. It became panicking because if I would be in this picture right now still, uh, see myself as a part of Poland, it would only be because of one thing, and that was a really bad news. That is actually related to a psychologist whose child is half Russian psychologist. I have already spoken about her. And as much as Mr. Donald Trump was assertive in front of her, how he much he likes her, how she is miraculous, and I don't know what it is, he started to build a completely different, totally different picture about her to me, through himself, through other people. This, she's a bad news. Kaczynski was completely insane, obsessed with it. And so were a few other extremists. But it was why I was like this. Well, foremost, because they didn't see in her a human being, basically. In her human see to see a, in a woman a human being means that you have to see a female in her first. A human being and not what they claim that that would be a threat for this country that would be a danger for this country and I don't know what kind of stuff because of the Russian trial actually the lunacy have gone as far as company where I worked Park West galleries where I was brought under MK Ultra Matt artist Max um, we would have all kinds of artists we would we would sell through that gallery this is the company where i work in 2005 driving the truck across the u.s and setting up uh, the art galleries uh selling painting painted art uh help auctioneers sell that uh you know that kind of stuff and they would have dollies they would have picassos they would have all kinds of people uh painters artists uh and one of them was max uh, a famous painter that looks like a, something a little bit different than myself, just a shell of a human being who does not know better than is dressed clean, well, everything is nice, but does not know more than to sign the pictures which other people 
paint, how to paint this paint. He would just sign them. And then the auctioneers in this company, they would sell them in this park where there's galleries. Of course, I'm talking about Mr. Guglione here, in this case. It would come with a story. Of course, I have Matthew's beautiful daughter. And I have posted the new, on the new side a story about Mr. Mox, how, um, you know, how he would do the stuff like this, how, you know, through this cruise lines, where they would have these auctions and stuff like this, they would sell people not real stuff, but really his story. What I can tell you is that his daughter personally suggested me that man became at a certain point in time a little bit too vivid, a little bit too lost himself a little bit too much, and have related himself to the pedophilia in a sense that he began to see his uh, daughter in pedophilic incest way. And that's when basically she helped him out a little bit to forget about who he was. And now she has him in this vegetation state, basically. She cannot do it by herself, but obviously this goes through law enforcement that have approved and stuff like this. I have no idea what Mr. Max did, but I know this is a loving daughter that would not do stuff like this unless the guy was really posing some not completely normal issues. So you should probably figure out it would be the best to keep her father than just, you know, in that mode, I guess. Uh, it's not up to me to agree to disagree. But it's something I was suggested with. They did not only use a doppelgangers of the psychologist. They have used I don't know how many women to imitate her with all kinds of BS. But they have also imitated her daughter, that this is exactly what they would do to me, that I will be, I don't know, they're going to put me in vegetation state and it's going to be the Russians. That's a total paranoia, total schizophrenia. That is going to be the Russians, they're going to grab everything in Poland and they're going to buy the Poland and it's going to be the Ukraine, they're going to get the Ukraine, my God, what's going to be and so on. So much BS that actually doesn't have, it's without limits, actually. But really, the problem with Mr. Kaczynski is that he does not see a human being in a human being. If he would just see a woman in a woman and treated her like a woman, uh, and man like a man, and so on and so forth, we would not have this kind of insanity going on in the first place. It does not get more polish than what she is. The problem with Mr. Kaczynski, however, is a Poland. Because Mr. Kaczynski see himself, see this country, as something that unfortunately does not fit description of the country. Mr. Kaczynski would like to eliminate certain profiles per Polish neighbor, per Germany, so that country would look more like acceptable for the neighbor, for the Germany. But at the same time, a Graf Kaczynski, King wannabe, would like somehow to remain under the Putin is control. So that's basically all there is to it. Uh, for that matter, he did align himself to some other extremists and he is this way discriminating is the Polish people, getting them out of here. A lot of people got discriminated. A lot of people got silenced, destroyed. It's all kinds of stuff that went on. But uh, this beautiful girl, this psychologist, resisted to death in a very intelligent way, responded to him, uh, got herself a beautiful community around her, a really good friends, uh, that stick with her because they know that she is just really a good-hearted girl um they see in her polish and i can tell you that she looks polish as it gets if you come to poland um this is really a polish dna what she has um it doesn't make her less polish uh her child and she's not a human less because of her child and of course because of the way she looks because this is also was in Kaczynski's nose, especially in a German nose, okay, in Kaczynski's nose per Germany, because it was about who are we gonna see you in the news with? Make sure it's gonna be Blondina, make sure it's gonna be I don't know what, this is what it was. Disgusting, dirty, filthy as it gets, inhumane, but this is nothing new when it comes to today's Warsaw. I don't know why they play this alarm every year about this attack on the Warsaw, that Hitler demoluted Warsaw, when they're basically playing on on the strings of, of, of Germany, literally. It's bad as it gets here in Poland when it comes to that. Yes, you have seen that they're using all kinds of stuff. Uh, and unfortunately, they have aligned themselves to a fascist, to a neo-Nazi wink. It is a sad thing about what's going on. We have a few extremist top figures in the political stages that are running all this stuff, including Vladimir Putin, which is definitely a disgrace for the entire Slavic society. The phone call, they're going to hear the last thing that is related to insurance company. <sighs> Why the phone call is like this, for those of you that understand Polish. It's like this because 
Americans who came here were not ordinary Americans. They were privileged Americans. Even the black guy from California. The one that I have posted on a blog site and I have identified him. He worked for the Schwarzenegger. Maria Shriver, he worked for her. They were privileged. These people were privileged. The nature of immigration to this country was not the same as mine. Their nature was different. They came from a world where they already were privileged eh, to either get better job opportunity, business going, uh, investments, all kinds of issues is that random here. It was all kinds of a variety of issues. Not the one that would bring individual ability to survive here or to investigate the two issues that brought me here. They were, they were a completely of a different background than myself. And so when you take that stuff in consideration, it comes to a total, total different realities, two different worlds. When I was in the US, I can tell you, I was no different than in Poland. I was just a polite, for me, everybody was, sir, ma'am, yes, sir, yes, ma'am. I did not question whatever I was told I would do on a heartbeat. This is, I, this is the way I went by. I never thought about going and violating laws and going, I don't know, stuff like this or questioning why something is like this. Why is it that they are asking me to do certain things? Maybe the parking lots did look stupid. The phone calls like this one that I got when I was trying to cancel the insurance policy and they would they refused, they were in the US too. That stuff did happen. But it's one thing I never did, I never questioned. I complied. And it was no different with me in every other state. Not in Sweden, not in Norway or Germany or whatever the hell I was. Belarus, whatever I was, I complied. I did not question. I did. But when you're coming from the privileged world, this is not exactly your um priority you got other priorities on your mind it's other issues you have going on and as such you get into the confrontation with the people and people that are less than privileged compared to the u.s and i'm talking about the polish people there was no money here it was a poverty here after the soviet union it was the situation was shit it was bad i'm not gonna say it would be like you would have fleas but it really was bad people didn't have cars people didn't have money I remember in Czech Republic, in, in, in Slovakia, they wouldn't have mayonnaise, they wouldn't have fuel at the gas stations and so on. If this is not crazy enough, just think about how, who is the major exporter of the oil and so on. Petrol. It was tough. Old cars, everything, no money, this and that. And you see now these guys coming with loaded with the money and this and that. You know, and getting local chicks and this and that and complaining, bitching basically about everything. Eh? They're not happy with anything and, and criticizing and why this and why that, questioning everything. And then you have, you know, opposition that forms local. And then you have, like, it's a completely normal thing. Kids competing with one another. Thanks God, they exchange your views. That's what the world should be all about. This is good stuff. There's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with it. This is a good stuff. But the problem here is that, you know, if I say something bad to someone here, in Zgersh, believe me, it's not going to even take 10 minutes when the news is going to be on the other side of the Loch, some 20-30 kilometers away from here. <laughs> it will eventually get within days to Varsho, if not within day two. People will talk and they will disseminate this news all over the place. And the lady that someone prior to myself has spoken to because this shit too with insurance company this also was part of the torture mental torture if you will not cancel this immediately and it will not be enough on the telephone and then what's gonna happen is they're gonna charge you so much money you're gonna have to pay for 12 month period it's gonna be a contract and you're gonna you're gonna have to stay with a contract and this and that and if you don't do this, and if you don't do that, it was all kinds of schizophrenia, paranoia, they did another NKL to inspect to insurance company. You know, I'm talking about insurance company which did not fulfill requirements of immigration officer. Oh my god, it's gonna be this and that. Why well, did not stop even from imitating me how I went back to Slovenia and then what happened? 
Nothing. I say with the FA insurance for the whole contract and this and that. 12 months I was paying even for the services in another country that I could not serve and stuff like that. Just a total BS, a total, total paranoia, a total crap. And so what happened in this phone call is really simple. The lady, when she starts with this Gmail and all this stuff, she got pissed off with somebody, with one of these Americans. This is the same lady, made no mistake. I'm not schizophrenic, I'm not paranoid. It's the lady I have spoken with under MKUltra. This is a long time employee in this very same company, I guarantee you that. Because there were two companies that were the lowest. And I remember how they play with the prices and this eventually came out as the lowest company with the lowest price. One of them must have said some shit, arrogance, something to him, uh, to her. Uh, eventually, it might have been a problem because they did not learn Polish enough. And maybe they felt actually discriminated against. I have no idea. These privileged people too. You know, this is like connection that we all share, actually. They all of a sudden felt underprivileged. They felt maybe that, you know, they repeated and the person did not understood. And then you have this anger, you know, res a resentment, backlash. And for that matter, the lady probably responded in the same way. Action, a reaction. And there you have the result. And just at this time, it was not like before. At this time, it was not like, make sure, make, 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 make sure that you, that, that, that you write that down, that, that you're going to do this that, that, to him too. Now remember, we're not in the, doing this to you, we're doing this to him. Just at this time, this was not the case. And this time, it was actually the Polish state, I believe, that initiated this. To remind me of a few other things. One, I first assumed, would be actually to make me understand that there was a friction here going on between Americans and between the Poles, which definitely was, there's no doubt about that. There was all kinds of stupid stuff that went on. But like I said, this is a completely normal thing. Another one, however, which is more and more and more important, that's what concerned me to Chris, however, is that that one related to psychologists at this point in time they would not want to have me here anymore in poland and if i would stay here at this point in time they wanted to make sure that they would evolve in me some kind of person like chris pushed several times a button which stated it will be okay if you will stick with americans all the way but you will not you will not you will see that you will be you will become pro-polish you will become pro-polish this was toward the end of it and I was like, no, 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 man, I will not. I don't like this. Fuck this, this and that. I don't. I didn't even know where I was, what I was doing. Just for the heck of it, under MK Ultra, well, whatever. It was a mess. This is MK Ultra is a mess. It's a, it's a confusion. And this is actually anticipated to create the wrong points in a person, so that you steer the person away from his goal, from his, from his where he wants to be at. That's actually what they have anticipated, that if I am going to stay at this point in time, still here in Poland, I'll actually become dangerous for them. I will actually present a danger for this German system. It no longer would be uh, a good thing. If they will not discourage me through the Grotniki, turn me against the Poland, make me curse Poland. Yeah, you have no idea what kind of brainwash this was, folks. You got no idea. In that case, I would become actually dangerous for the Poland. Yeah, I would become actually really, really bad um, for the Poland, uh, for the Germany, I should say. And so if that would not work out, then would that second plan would work out. The ultimate button that Mr. Chris from Colorado pushed was, everything is okay, whatever the F you will do, there's only one mistake you will do if you will do it, and that is that you will discriminate against Americans. You know that issue of the privilege that I have mentioned a little bit prior? The issues that I have mentioned about being privileged in a society and basically through the genocide, through the torture, basically assimilate me through the denial of the rights in the United States, none whatsoever. And then you come here and through, through denial of the rights, you would step by step assimilate me into society by literally crippling me, making me curse and Poland and everything, try to get me out of here no matter what. You, American, who is not even a Slavic person. I'm a Slavic person. I'm from Slovenia. 
you're not even Slavic person. The people that were here for the most part were related to the Germans and so on. And you tell me right now that if I would, who have discriminated severely me, against me, not in the United States, but also right here inside of Poland, basically telling me, privileged people like this, that everything would be okay, except that if I would go and start to discriminate against Americans. The idea was, again, I'm going to explain that you understand me this, was to literally also suggest, that also was another brainwash. Another brainwash was that you're a Slavic person and this and that, and look what is this, what they're doing to you and so on, was actually to turn me to a lunatic that would go against American people. And it's American people, privileged people, who, like this, stamp upon minorities in the United States of America, stamp upon normal people that want, demand a normal human relationship in the United States of America, that required for me the same shit right here in Poland. I would take basically the stand against those people that they stamp on against on the floor of the United States of America. Now, if you understand this grand idea, if they couldn't get out of Poland, then at least they wanted to get that kind of compromise going. And so because of myself, because of me being so severely discriminated in the United States of America and inside of the Poland alone by this really privileged people, and because of vanishing Polish societies throughout the United States, because of the vanishing Slavic societies throughout the United States, including Russian, Ukrainian, and Czech, and Slovak, and Slovenian, and Croatian, and so on, and Serbian, whatever. I say to you today that Poland have to stand up. If we want our rights, so you're not going to see another me like this, we're going to have to stand up as a Slavic society for Slavic society, as well as for the rights of minorities, especially for the people that are fighting for the normal human relations in the United States of America against this privileged people that are doing just everything possible to ruin us along with minorities, with all other minorities. You know, we are minorities. We don't really that white pride worldwide. This is just white for as long as we need you. But when we no longer need you, it's also time to white you out too. So you see, this is the way I calculate that it is important for us to express solidarity with the people of all kinds from all over the place, including the people um, of other races, of other racial backgrounds, other nationalities that stand up for equality and so on. And we should never ever forget part of who and what we are. This is the least what we can do. Now, I was talking on my website actually even to about reclassifying ourselves into a different racial background, which would actually give us the right to claim our rights um, according to discrimination laws in the United States of America. I did not have a single right in the United States of America because the first thing they do is they place you in a rank of people that don't consider you even as a human being. That's called white in the United States of America. They do whatever they want to do with you. This is the first thing that happens to you in the United States of America. Then it's a massacre like a friend of mine here from Zgierf keeps repeating. What follows up at work, what follows up in your private life, forget about. And so for you to protect yourself uh, from this kind of assertiveness that you would be viewed in a light, in a way like this, that you are part of something where you don't actually even exist, I have actually suggested that we should even reclassify ourselves into a different racial group, not only ethnic group, okay? But if you would at least remember where you're coming from, part of what you are, that would be a big thing. But, you know, people like to forget. We all like to forget. We are programmed like this. Unfortunately, in a world where we subsist, it happens way too often, unfortunately. So, that's all for this video. Chris is still, I think, the best of all these Americans that I met here. Uh, this individual is just a regular working individual like myself. He's just trying to get by, uh, get a normal life going.
in Colorado though, uh, in this park, this, or was it, what is it, Wyoming or whatever it is, he left me this shirt here. Adventures are awaiting Western Wyoming. If you can see it, I don't know. Um, and this is where we were together. And then we went to Colorado. We went to his place. I remember his mom. He was kind of a wanted me to see myself as agents, as some kind of American agent. Um, something I had nothing to do with. It was like, if things don't work out in Poland and this and that. Um, well, we all know what we came for, where we came for, and I just want to make clear in this video why I came for to Poland. So that Mr. Kaczynski can understand now where we stand, so Mr. Trump can understand now where we stand at. Poland traditionally is a Slavic country, this is not a German country. Germans only wanted one thing with a Poland, that was basically to find a solution that will follow us, follow Jews, was related to a plan for the Slavic people. And so, we're not related to one another, I'm going to say even a little bit, but it's extremely important for us to support views of the normal people on the West. It's important to give normal people support. So something we have gone through would not repeat again. Something also that Mr. Donald Trump obviously had failed. Uh, even with his attempt that if he could not get me out of Poland like this, that he would eventually somehow turn me against American people, against German people. And this goes also for the German people. Especially what Poland not supposed to become is the country that would allow herself to represent privileged people. People that stamp our own people in the U.S. The rights of minorities of which part actually we are. I see myself as part of that. I don't see, really, I don't see myself within that so-called white, not even a little bit, because I have gone through this fascism, Nazism, they ruined 25 years of my life, and have used me to ruin the lives of other people, that I feel really responsible for. So, that's all I want to state for this video, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to play you a few audios, that you can hear about this barking, um, that you can hear... Zeus barking, then what you can hear is the immigration officer barking, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to play you the excerpt, which I have mentioned that I was told, prompted to actually go ahead and claim that I was on Oktoberfest, when was that? For like, I don't know, a few days ago that I was in Germany and stuff like this, and then I re-entered and this and that, I don't need to do this stuff, I'm okay, I don't need to lie on applications and so on. And then what I'm going to do is, that's going to be probably in... I don't know how long this is, uh, that's going to be probably in audio number three or whatever, I'm going to I'm gonna pop that thing on. That's going to be basically for entire audio, so you're not going to see that, so you're going to see that I did not modify anything. By the way, you're going to realize that I have recognized a whole load of people, a bunch of people, identified buildings and so on and so forth. That's also something that I have coming and this and that. Some stuff I have identified I did not even mention in the previous video. Uh, about identifying part of the lodge. Yes, I identified a lot. Where am I going to get the time to, to identify it? You know how many people was involved? I was brought here from 2002 all the way to mid-2006 to this area here. And then they, they would still bring me back in 2008, 2010, and 2013, and 2015, and 2017. So that's a lot of years you're talking about, this place here alone. In Poland, what, 21 years? <coughs> Something like this, 23 years? A lot of MK Ultra in this country alone, okay? So just so that you cannot. Mr. Kaczynski failed indefinitely. I don't know if this doesn't get me get him out of the picture. I have no actual idea what actually can. This is a severe violation. This is a desperate attempt to make me lie. Uh, get me out of this country. Um, through the lies, through the plot, literally. It's not true that... Immigration would not have anything to do with it. Like I was told that that it, it's it's just the police. It's it's both. It's a state and it's a federal government that are involved in this stuff. Per Mr. Trump, this is what this is all about. This country must never ever become the country of the privileged, and especially this country must be the country for the people 
that are, I'm not going to say underprivileged, but people that are discriminated against, people that look for the refuge, they look for a safe place to rescue their lives, basically, like my case was, from this so-called privileged people, from this so-called white people. So that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time. To be exact, I received a phone call on Friday, November the 29th, 2019. Uh, the telephone slightly ring once, twice, in the same fashion as marketing companies do. And I have received probably 100 phone calls from marketing companies because I did apply it. I tried to get here myself a credit in the same way. And they want you to call them back and pay for the telephone. They will take you to nowhere. When I did call back, you're going to hear the first phone call a lady actually imitated Zeus by not even presenting herself for who she was, what she was, claiming that she doesn't hear me. And you're gonna hear the same thing repeated then with immigration offices, the same thing with the Zeus, the same thing with immigration offices. On what the barking started by the immigration officer that did not differ almost in any way from the telephone call with Zeus. So it was actually imitation of what I have gone through literally with the Zeus. Very, very similar procedure. Also, what I did not mention to you during the video, I did not remind you of so-called national emergency as a Buckingham Palace would refer to that is that not only being myself here with in sub-zero temperatures with ice bath showers, but also a lack of water supply that went on for well in my book for three days in my book for three days because on monday i couldn't use one in the morning when i needed anyways to even shower myself so i was basically even without showering myself like four days here so so this is pretty crazy stuff they orchestrated in this cold temperatures yes when you hear the phone call uh from friday the 29th 2019 pay attention to how the Polish immigration officer, how he acted. It was all connected, it was so well connected, the whole thing together. The recording that you're gonna hear by immigration officer when she makes a statement, Oktoberfest, Oktoberfest, and this, a write down Oktoberfest and so on. Well, that's exactly why he acted this way. He did not act because he would not know what he was doing or anything like this. He just did it this way, he did it this way. So you would go ahead and you would do it like this. So it would be like this. There is somebody actually that helps you, there's somebody that is concerned for you and she in fact is this is a beautiful lady a very nice lady a really nice people i came across but all this stuff this is not a coincidence this is all well connected well well done well played out uh, on saturday i was on a rennek on a local flea market right here in lodge and i heard the guy coming to me angry turning kakala to his lady was singing over there um if the things somehow are not going to work out for you, if the things somehow are not going to work out for you, then it's going to be Russia. And it's going to be Russia. And it's, he was not the only one. It was other also. What can I say about that stuff? I am very sorry that you are insulted, Mr. Kaczynski. The are all Kaczynski's people. Very, very sorry that my presence in Poland insulted you so much. I am very sorry that psychologist who is Polish and has a Russian child per Polish state. It did happen like this. That maybe she hurts you so much. I don't really know what the issues are here. I'm so sorry that so many people are so disappointed about where the whole thing is heading. Um, so I don't know what to tell you. If you don't like it, leave the country. Get out of the Poland if you don't like it. Go to Germany if you don't like Poland. Or go to where Mr. Kaczynski, brother of Kaczynski is. He's in St. Petersburg. When I posted on my blog the stuff about St. Petersburg, about the Russia and Kyotr, we were there. We were there. I have proofs. I know how the buildings look inside. I know about this stuff. Hey, these are not even Polish people. What it means to put the bomb on the plane with a hundred people, blow them off the sky. People that go respect, pay respect over there to Katyn and so on. And without the Russia, on the other hand, Poland would not even exist on the map. You know, Hitler had a plan, his ultimate solution for the Slavic people. So, take care of yourself till next time. Can 
dobry, Wiolta Pochodówka, czy mogę pomóc? Dzień dobry. Tak. Proszę Pani, przepraszam. Znaczy co, ja mam problem tu z wieżą. A problem to nie co... Tak? Chciałby na przegląd a, doktora, lekarza. Proszę Pana, ja Pana to, nie rozumiem. Tak, chciałby na przegląd do doktora, lekarza, to mogłyby mi zrobić a, zwolnienie. Ale nie, proszę Pana, to... nie słyszę Pana, proszę Pana. Oj, oj, może Pan tak, tak, może tak, przejść w inne miejsce, ja Pana bardzo proszę. słabo słyszę. A teraz nie, lepsze my... Tak samo, proszę Pana, źle. Nie dobrze. Aha, moment, proszę Aha a teraz. Halo? Tak, tak, tak. No, no teraz i tu lepiej. Proszę o zadanie pytania raz jeszcze, dobrze? Znaczy, co jest, proszę Pani. Halo? Tak, słucham Pana. Halo, tak. Znaczy, tak? co jest. Ja chciałbym zrobić... Chciałby zrobić, e, chciałby do lekarza, co mogłyby mi zrobić zwolnienie. Ja? E, dziękuję. E, Dobrze, no ale nie, i, nie, tak? i, I problem o tym jest, co nie mogę do tego lekarza. Ten lekarz e, oczywiście nie chciałby mnie przynieść. Jest e, problem, muszę szybciej tam do, do ZUS-a. A, tam pani ale... z nim rozmawiała i tak, i on nie przyniósł te informacje na e, siostry i tak. A, teraz mi mówi, co muszę iść tam na, e, na ten zawód za szukanie pracy i tam rejestrować się i tak. E, Dobrze, chcę zrobić... a może pan powiedzieć, z czym jest problem, bo nie bardzo rozumiem? No, problem o tym jest, co tak? ja pracowałem tak? i tego pracodawca E, miałem problem z kręgosłupem. E, ciężki problem z kręgosłupem, z dyskiem, herniated disk. Nie znam jak to po, e, po polsku się mówi. No. E, Dobrze proszę pana, był... ale ja chciałabym dopytać. Chodzi o to, że pan nie ma zdrowotnego ubezpieczenia? Tak, nie mam tego zdrowotnego ubezpieczenia, ale jest inna sytuacja. To mogę by zrobić ten zasilek, a tylko myślę, co pani tam z USA mówiła, mi, to mogę zrobić dzisiaj. To jest tak, Dobrze, tak, ale, tak, co, tak. ale ja w ogóle pana nie rozumiem teraz, proszę pana. Co, to, co pana nazywa zasiłek? O jakim zasiłku pan teraz mówi? No, e, kiedyś nie możesz pracować, nie? Jest no dobrze, a kiedy ja zakończyła się pana umowa? Pierwsze, do... przepraszam. Przepraszam za mój polski język, no jestem i słowenijny, nie mówię bardzo dobrze po polsku. Uh, ale uh, myślę, że to, to, tylko mogę dobrze. rozmawiać z wami, ale to dobrze. nie możliwe jest, możliwe by było może być z taką osobą, która mówi po uh, angielski język. Proszę pana, a może pan powie, kiedy zakończyła się pana umowa o pracę? Bo pan rozumiem, że jest osobą po zakończeniu to się umowy, tak? miesiąc przeszły. No dobrze. Pierwszego tak, października, tam, czyli listopada? Tak, że jedni miesiąc i po teraz. Dobrze, i jest pan po, po zakończeniu umowy pracy jeden miesiąc, tak? No, skończyłem się umowę pracy jedni miesiąc i po na zawsze, nie? No dobrze, jest pan po zakończeniu umowy o pracę. I teraz e, chciał pan obiegać się o zasiłek chorobowy? Wcześniej pan nie był na zwolnieniu lekarskim. Nie, byłem na tym zwolnieniu lekarskim wcześniej z wami. No, lekarz, e, mój lekarz, e, tak. on, on nie chciał mnie przynieść. E, znaczy, że to celi, celi tydzień, celu tygodnia nie chciał mnie przynieść. Znaczy. No dobrze, nie chciał Pana przyjąć w, ce, w, Ta, w ciągu tygodnia, tak? Nie chciał przyjąć cel, cel, całkowicie tygodniu. E, tak było, w czwartek, piątek też, e, teraz jest poniedziałek, on mi mówi, że ja muszę tam do rejestrować się za szukanie pracy i tak. Nie chcę zrobić przegląd i tak. E, no i znaczy co, e, ja nie znam co. E, to, to no ja dobrze, myślę, ale proszę pana, jak ja, ja mogę, mogę panu pomóc? Znaczy, co je, benzyn to nie woda, ja nie mogę tak e, woskać się od, od, od ZUS-a do, do lekarza dobrze. i tak. 
I Dobrze, proszę pana. Ale zrobić, proszę, proszę pana, proszę pani, moment, proszę. I chciałbym zrobić to w związku z tego skargo. A chciałbym na przykład um, expenses, you know, expenses for this. To nie, ja nie, to nie, nie jest mój błąd, to jest błąd ZUSA, to jest błąd lekarza tam. A Dobrze. jeszcze bym chciał, że sobie proszę to zrobić tak normalno, tak normalno, jak Dobrze, po Dobrze, proszę pana, ale ja nie wiem, o jaką ekspertyzę panu chodzi. Dobrze. W jakiej sprawie, ja... proszę pana, ta ekspertyza? A jest możliwe rozmawiać z e, kogoś, kto mogę pana, udzielamy informacji, tylko udzielamy po polsku, proszę pana, informacji. Po polsku rozmawiamy. Dobrze, ale... E, Wy mnie nie rozumiecie bardzo dobrze. Ja nie znam, co, co mi zrobić. Oczywiście, co mnie nie rozumiecie dobrze, no. Proszę pana, yy, chodzi panu o yy, możliwość skorzystania z opieki zdrowotnej, czyli chodzi o możliwość yy, podlegania dobrowolnemu, znaczy podlegania yy, zdrowotnemu ubezpieczeniu, czy chodzi panu o zasiłek chorobowy? O zasiłek chorobowy, no, jak... Dobrze. I teraz pan mówi, że zwolnienie lekarskie pan miał wystawione i potem była przerwa w tych zwolnieniach, tak? No, jeżeli jedno tygodnie, to spróbuję się, co mogłabym na to, no na, to na przegląd lekarza i teraz to jest... No dobrze, tak. proszę pana, ale za okres Moment, po jest, ustaniu jest, zatrudnienia jest jedna, nie jest może być przerwy. Gestii, a ja mam jak ostatni dan, co mogę to zrobić. Po ZUS-u nie chcę ją pomóc, tam nie chcę ją pomóc. A co mogę ja zrobić w związku z tego? Ja proszę pana, na, na, tak na, na, najpierw ja chciałabym sytuacja. zrozumieć, o co chodzi, proszę pana, na początek bym bardzo chciała. A ja nie znam, jak wam objaśnił, jak, e, co ja bym chciał. Ja nie znam, nie mam pojęcia. Jest możliwość, co mogę bym rozmawiać z jaką osobą, co mówię angielski, proszę, proszę pana. my udzielamy informacji w języku polskim. Dobrze, ale ja, wy mnie nie rozumiecie, no i ja co mogę tu? Teraz, co ja nie mówię dobrze po polsku, nie mogę z wami rozmawiać, tak jest? Proszę pana, a czy pan by miał możliwość udania się do placówki zus w tej sprawie? Może z jakąś inną osobą, która będzie mogła tłumaczyć to, co pan mówi? Proszę pana, słyszymy się? No, ja was słucham, wy mnie nie słuchacie oczywiście, nie znam, ja chciałabym... nie znam, co mi zrobić. Proszę pana, ja chciałabym zapytać, czy pan ma możliwość udania się do placówki z może z inną osobą, która będzie tłumaczyła to, o czym pan mówi? Jest możliwość, co mogę bym rozmawiać z inną osobą, proszę bardzo. Proszę pana, ale ja pana pytam, czy pan może się udać do ZUS-u, do placówki ZUS-u z inną osobą, która będzie tłumaczyła pana tę wypowiedź? Nie problem z osobą, tylko tam na ZUS-u. Nie tylko problem z tym, a problem, problem jest oczywiście, co ja zobaczyłem, a problem jest z wami, problem jest z usem tu, problem jest z lekarzem i tak. Oczywiście, co mamy dużo problemów i ja nie znam, jak wam to objaśnić. Wy, wy oczywiście nie chcecie mi pomagać, nie, nie, jak pan, to nie rozmawiać jest tak, na nie angielski, panu coś takiego. Ja nie znam, wy mnie nie rozumiecie, ja nie znam, jak was, wam wyjaśnić lepiej. Proszę pana, to nie jest tak, że nie chcemy panu pomóc. No proszę pana, nie znam, jak jest. Jeżeli tak jest, jak jest, proszę. No ja proszę, żeby pan udał się do placu Jezusu z inną osobą, która będzie w stanie przetłumaczyć pana wypowiedź. E, znaczy, e, jestem u samochodu i nie znam. Nie... Um, no, um, I don't know how to make you happy, you know, I don't know how to explain to you, uh, I am driving, I am trying to, to get this done today, I am trying to get this done the whole week, and it seems like you like some kind of uh, circus or something like this. You don't hear me when I talk to you on a headphone. Proszę pana. Uh, you seem to have like a lot of problems. I don't know. What is the problem? Maybe you want to Proszę pana. That? Słyszymy yeah, się? Proszę pana. Proszę pana. Proszę pana. Proszę pana. Proszę pana. Słyszymy się? Pan ze mną teraz rozmawia czy z kimś innym? Bo ja nie słyszę, proszę pana. 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 Pro
I would like to get somebody else because with you I cannot talk. Obviously, we cannot we cannot have a conversation. The only thing I hear is proshapana, and it seems like you are doing this deliberately. You know, I feel that that you don't want to collaborate here with this thing. You you are not trying to help me out. So I don't know how to make you happy, please. I am on a telephone already, like for a half an hour at least, and I don't know how to make you happy, lady. Yes, I would like to talk with someone who can converse with me in English language, please. Proszę pana, tak jak powiedziałam panu, na ogólnopolski forum udzielamy informacji w języku polskim. Okay, tylko tylko na polski. Jeżeli nie nie drugie mowy, nie możemy rozmawiać o prze. Tak jest. Udzielamy tak, jak Ale powiedziałam, wiemy, w języku polskim. Tak? Mój polski nie dobrze, nie dostateczny. Ja nie bym chciał wam robić problemy. Proszę, pani. Dobrze, to w takiej robić? sytuacji, tak jak panu powiedziałam, proponuję udać się do placówki zus z osobą, która będzie w stanie przetłumaczyć. Ale byłam tu, że cały tydzień jestem tu. Proszę dobrze, ale był pan z kimś, czy sam pan był? Ale pan odpowie na pytanie. Pan był sam, czy był pan tą osobą, która przetłumaczyła? Byłam tam u pokoju 10. Jest tam jedna pani, co ma... Na imię pani Marzena Dobrze, proszę pana, ale pan dzwoni na ogólnopolską jest i nie Ja nie będę wiedział, z kim pan rozmawiał. Jestem tu u Zgierzu, u Kuraku i proszę, jeżeli mi dozwolicie, wy mnie wypytali, a nie dozwolicie mi, co by, co by wam dał odezwanie i tak. Ja nie znam. A jeszcze znacie, co nie mówię dobrze po polsku i tak. Ja nie mam pojęcia. No. Jest ko kogoś inny, co mogę rozmawiać, proszę. Dobrze, ale proszę pana, to, to nie, znaczy, proszę, był pan sam... bardzo tak bo... nieprofesjonalna, tak prowokatywna ile coś takiego, nie znam, nie mam pojęcia. Jest może was, co mogę wiem, rozmawiam z kogoś. Proszę pana, ja już na to pytanie odpowiedziałam. Także podzielamy informacji tylko w języku polskim na infolinii ZUS, proszę pana. Dobrze, ale ja nie znam. Nie, o co my to mówimy? Ja rozumiem, proszę pana. Polskim, to tak jak panu powiedziałam, no trzeba, no tak jak panu mówię cały czas, trzeba udać się z A inną pan, osobą, jeste, tak? Wy, wy jesteście chora, ile co jest? Nie rozumiem was. Macie jakieś choroby, umysły, ile coś takiego, ile co jest? Jest to tak, goje, ile to jest. Nie możliwości rozmawiać tak po ludzki, nie to możliwość. Jest możliwość, proszę rozmawiać z inną osobą, ja bardzo proszę. No jeżeli pan sobie życzy, tak najbardziej mogę przełączyć pana na kolejkę. To, to, ale jak panu dziękuję, powiedziałam, na pewno dziękuję. proszę pana będzie rozmowa tylko i wyłącznie w języku polskim. Znaczy, ja przepraszam, co mój język polski nie tak dobrze, ja przepraszam za to. No ja rozumiem, proszę pana, że, no, że bardzo słabo pan no. mówi, ale jeżeli pan sobie życzy, to ja I mogę przekazać rozmowę na zasiłki. You. I am sorry that I insulted you with my Polish language skills today. No, proszę bardzo, przepraszam pan. Natomiast rozmowa będzie i tak, proszę pana, w języku polskim, tak? Ale przełączę rozmowę, czas oczekiwania wynosi będzie około 13 minut. Około 13 minut, Tak. Okay. Dobrze. Zatem włączę. Dziękuję, jeszcze mi jego dnia zapraszam ponownie. A z kogo rozmawiałem, proszę bardzo? Nazywam się Wioletta Pochyrska. Aha, super. Bardzo dziękuję Wam. Dziękuję bardzo, do uprzenia. Do widzenia. Dzień dobry. Halo? Halo, o, dział tu słucham. E, tak, dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry, proszę pani. Wy ma posłonili? Bardzo pana źle słychać. Bardzo pana źle słychać przez telefon. E, Kto jeszcze? Jeszcze. Halo? No ja, jeżeli mi nie dobrze słuchacie. No bardzo słabo pana słychać. Halo? No tu mam jakieś pytanie. Halo? 
Czy pan mi słyszy? No, ja, ja was bardzo dobrze słucham, proszę pani. No słucham, no jakie jest pytanie, w jakiej sprawie pan dzwoni? No, wy mnie pozwonili z waszego numeru. Kto dzwonił? Jaka pani? Pan, pani? A, słuchajcie, nie mam pojęcia, dzwonił, dzwonił wasz numer, a co, jaka kompania jest? Proszę pana, no w pokoju mam 15 osób, każdego mam pytać, kto do pana dzwonił? Która firma jest, gdzie jest wy? Jak wam jest? Pana, ja nic nie rozumiem, co pan do mnie mówi. Proszę mówić po polsku i wyraźnie. What is your name, please? Who are you? You call my number. Proszę pana, mówimy po polsku, tak? To jest polski urząd. Jak? Dzień to słucham. Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Proszę pana, e, coś mnie pozwoniło z waszego numeru, proszę. Dobrze, dzisiaj? No dzisiaj, tak. E... A pan się starał o jakiś tytuł popytowy? O jakieś zezwolenie? No Albo tak. o coś innego? A o co pan się stara? E, ja staram się o karty pobytu. Jestem z Unii Europejskiej. Z jakiego powodu? Z Unii Europejskiej. I złożyłem wniosek e, za kartę pobytu tu u Polski. No to jest, e, co to jest? Jest pan obywatelem Unii Europejskiej. Przepraszam. No, 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 pan... Słuchajcie, nie być nerwozny z mną. Proszę bardzo. Rozmawiać normalno, jak ludzie rozmawiają. Dobrze, proszę pana, jak pana nazwisko? Druga rzecz. Je. A, byłem tam... Niech pan posłucha, niech pan nic nie mówi więcej. Proszę podać swoje nazwisko, niech pan się przedstawi. Halo? Proszę pan, a, a jesteś... Znaczy co? Możemy rozmawiać Proszę. tak normalno, jak ludzie rozmawiają. Niech pan nie posłucha. Niech pan się przedstawi. Jak pan się nazywa? Mam na imię Bustian. Bustian, tak? Tak, Bustian Aftek. Aftek, proszę poczekać chwilę. Już przekazuję do osoby, która do pana dzwoniła. Niech pan chwilę poczeka. Halo? Halo? Już przekazuję osobę, która do pana dzwoniła. Niech pan poczeka chwilę. Dzień dobry panu Matowska. Proszę pana, dotarł do mnie pana wniosek o rejestrowanie pobytu. Rozumie pan wszystko, co mówię? Halo. Ja, halo. Ja. Czy pan mnie słyszy? Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Proszę pana, ponieważ ja pana kiepsko słyszę. Czy pan mnie dobrze słyszy i rozumie? A, ja was dobrze rozumiem, tak. Dobrze was rozumiem. Ja, no, nie, ja tak wiem, że wy mnie dobrze rozumiecie. Proszę pana, chcę panu coś słucham. wytłumaczyć. Proszę. Proszę pana, niech pan mnie słucha. Czy pan mnie słyszy? No, ja was słucham, ja was słyszę, bo wy mnie słyszycie. To chcę panu wytłumaczyć coś. Złożył pan w nich zarejestrowanie. Musi pan przyjść do mnie, bo ja muszę zobaczyć oryginał pana dokumentu tożsamości. Musi pan wypełnić jeszcze jeden wniosek, bo składa się dwa wnioski. I muszę dostać od pana ubezpieczenie zdrowotne, bo zgłoszenie do ZUS-u nie jest potwierdzeniem posiadanego ubezpieczenia. Um, nie, nie jestem pewny, jeżeli dobrze rozumiem to. To ja wam dał, no. to nie było, nie było dostateczno. Nie jest, nie było dostateczno. Tak, dokładnie, to niedostateczno. Aha. To... Muszę mieć, bo jak nie, to będę pisał do pana wezwanie o dostarczenie tych dokumentów. Proszę tak, proszę być u mnie z tym, co powiedziałam. U mnie, to znaczy pokój 33... Nie. Na trzecim piętrze. W godzinach pracy urzędu. To jest poniedziałek, czwartek, piątek, ósma trzydzieści, czternasta trzydzieści. W 
wtorek, 10, 17. Mama, e, bardzo. Co my zrobimy? Ja się nazywam Magda. Ja się nazywam Magdalena Sadowska. Wy jeste, wy jeste pani Sadowska, jest u pokoju 30. Trzy. Na trzecim tak, wierzu, ne? tak, proszę no. się do mnie zgłosić. Przejnością przyjdę. A, a Kiedy? Było... Aha, słucham. Kiedy pan Proszę. przyjdzie? Ja myślę, co będzie przyjdzie teraz. Teraz. Przyjdzie teraz. Dobrze, tu jest strasznie dużo ludzi, a niech pan przyjdzie teraz. Ja panu wytłumaczę w oczy, bo przez telefon to ciężko. Także czekam no, 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 na tak, pana. Tak, 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 tak. Dziękuję, do zobaczenia. Dziękuję wam, do zobaczenia. Do zobaczenia. Co pan dzisiaj? Bo pan dzisiaj był widziałem pana, ale co pan załatwiał? No, co to by chciał dać? To po to no dobrze, komu chce pan to dać? Na pewno nie mi, bo nie jest pan moim pieniądzem. Nie, nie Kto chodzi. pana przyjmował? Tutaj? No tak. No to pan chodzi. Dziękuję bardzo. Ale nie ma tej dziedziny, że pan. Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Dziesięć, dwa tysiące dziewiętnaście. Tu, piszemy. 
13, 10. Tak, 13, 10. 10. Tak,
małpasygnalmyślnikiduna.pl i tam napisać takie oświadczenie, że e, chciałbym zrezygnować z ofert e, pełnia zdrowia direct, e, e, którą e, wysłałem do Państwa. Nie wiem, czy Pan wysyła mailowo, e, online, tak? Pan robił, mówi Pan. E, przepraszam. W jaki sposób zawierał Pan umowę? E, znaczy, co ceny mam pojęć. Ja, e, było tam 71 zł, ja dał te 40 zł. Przez, e, to... Ona była zawarta online, rozumiem, tak? Online to zrobiłem. I online. Mm -hmm. co, chciałby to kancelować. No to tak jak Panu wcześniej wspomniałam, na zdrowie.indywidualne małpa sigma myśliki do Może co wy teraz tak. dzisiaj mogliby to skancelować. Mogę dać numer aplikacji i wszystko. Proszę Pana, e, można to anulować, tylko należałoby w tym temacie napisać do nas po prostu pismo, no, tak? Z Pana to, danymi. Ale, ale chciałby pierwszy test tak przez telefon, chciałby to anulować. Ale nie da się, proszę Pana, anulować przez telefon. Nie da się. Bo wniosek został już złożony. Aha, aha. Bo czy Pan dokonał płatności? No, wszystko mam tu, numer aplikacji, wszystko tu jest. Dobrze, a numer, a dokonywał Pan płatności? E, e, przepraszam. Czy płacił Pan? No, płacił. Za to ubezpieczenie. Tak, płaciłem, tak, płaczył. Płacił tak. Pan. Mhm. Płacił. To przy okazji też należałoby tam wpisać, proszę o zwrot składki na numer konta, taki i taki. Aha, rozumiem, dobrze. Czyli tak, a. proszę Pana, podsumowując. Należy napisać na zdrowie.indywidualne małpa signal myślnik iduna.pl pismo może być odręcznie w formie podaniowej, czyli pana dane może być z psl bo będzie nam łatwiej e, to e, sprawdzić, zweryfikować. Datę do sygnal Iduna proszę o rezygnację z pakietu medycznego, pełnia zdrowia direct, zawartego online. E, proszę o zwrot nad, nadpłaconej składki e, na konto numer taki i taki. Pana podpis. Mhm, bardzo dziękuję Wam. Uh -huh. uh, Proszę bardzo. Najlepiej by było to wysłać Wam na e, podpis. Jak będzie podpis? E, podpis nie mogę na, na e-mail. No to, to co ja myślę. Znaczy na e-mail, proszę Pana, to się wysyła na e-mail, okay. tylko że po prostu musi Pan wypisać takie podanie, taką prośbę i zeskanować ją, bądź zrobić zdjęcie i do nas wysłać. Aha, dobrze, ok. Bardzo dziękuję. Uh -huh. bardzo Proszę dziękuję. bardzo. Do A ile czasu mam za to zrobić? Nie rozumiem. A ile czasu mam, co mogłabym to zrobić? Jeszcze raz jak poproszę. Jak to musi być zrobione? No, co, co na będzie... e, wie pan co, no jak najszybciej, dlatego że my policy generalnie wystawiamy tak na bieżąco, tak? Aha, ja, ja. Także najlepiej dobrze by było dzisiaj. No dobrze, bardzo dziękuję. Mhm.